let's get back over to this thing over here welcome back to another video what are we taking today we're taking the or the or the truck now we're taking this today when chilling now with the new york we actually rented a 330i x4 330i and originally i wanted a 3 series but they had no 3 series when i got there so they gave me the x4 and when those cool suvs things came out i did not like how they looked i was not feeling them at all i explained all this in a, another video already but um yeah i've been i've been thinking about those, those cool things now like i don't know so i'm starting to like them now the timeline in this vlog is gonna be all over the place because it's like multiple days put in one video but i just came back from the dentist and I got my braces tightened and my teeth is just, it's just not my having fun time right now. Make sure you guys subscribe to my new gaming channel and I'm gonna put the link above. Pretty much I'm going to bring back what I was doing before, before I turned my last gaming channel to a walk around channel. But that was just the right move. So now that the walk around channel is established and with that 2000 subscribers, it's already monetized, it's making money. I'm ready to, oh. These workers are putting, I guess they're carrying bricks to the house and the dude's putting bricks on top of his head and it just threw me off just now. But uh, I'm ready to get back to the whole gaming stuff and do like, um, not really too much racing sim, but more of like, but just kind of gaming. Me and my sister, uh, GTA, RP, 5M, just playing all different types of games. I'm ready to kind of get back into the whole gaming thing. And yeah, so I made a new channel. I still got to work on, I don't know, by the time the video is out, maybe... I already have my, uh, not thumbnail, but like my avatar icon, whatever, and banner and stuff for the channel. But I just made it first channel. Make sure you guys check that out. A lot of content coming for that channel. Our baby boy is getting bigger. At the time of the recording right now, he's about the size of a peach. But some of the previous clip, I think it was like last month, he was like a whole different size. But he's growing though. So I'm definitely excited. I'm just ready for this whole dad journey. Shelly and I just been talking about it. We're just ready to be parents. Yeah, oh, it's super. I made it to BMW. It is so quiet in here. I got the music playing. It's like I talk loud. I don't get copyrighted. Look, they got the XM in here, which is cool. But look at this thing X4M. This is a competition. This thing is beautiful. I don't know what it is with this slant back thing, but look at the wheels. This thing, I'm not even gonna open it. This thing is so cool. Not a big fan of the black on black, but got the carbon on with the dash, panoramic moonroof. This thing is beautiful. This thing is pretty interesting. The twin turbo V8. Dang. Oh, look at that. The whole screen goes around. That's crazy. Oh, look at the patterns up in the roof. Got like some ultra suede material in here. Not a big fan of these wheels though. That's kind of weird. And the back too, the back is kind of weird. The quad exhaust though. And this is like in like gold. How much is this? I didn't even look at the price. This has gotta be over a hundred thousand, easy. Yeah, this thing is 168, 170 pretty much. Let's get back over to this thing over here. This thing is beautiful. Yeah, I don't know what it is. And then this is the new 7 Series. What the heck? What type of door handle are these? Is that a finger scanner? I'm crying. Yeah, this is a new 7 Series. Look at this thing. Insane. But yeah, I don't want to open any of these doors. So I don't know if the alarm going to go off or what. You see how quiet it is in here? The mad people in here. I'm not trying to embarrass myself. But... I'm not a big fan of this back end. It looks, I don't know. Oh yeah, they also have a X5M over there. I don't know what the heck that is. All right, we're back outside. They got a few BMWs outside. So this is the X4 40i. So right, right below the X4, but above the, the one that we had in New York, which is still pretty nice. You still get the power. How's it going? I'm all right, how about you? Good. You want to help me over here? Yeah, sure. What's the plan? Yeah. Here's the back of it, M40i. Realistically, I would probably if I like if I wanted to buy one, I would probably get an M40i. The the X4M is like goals, but that thing is I think it's like a hundred. I think it's like ninety. I can't even look at the price. I think it's like ninety k or something like that. But um, look, another XM. This thing is so weird. It's in white though. 
this thing is so weird. But I just ran to a salesperson here and we were just talking. And yeah, he gave me some insight and stuff like that. He was a cool dude. This is my first time being here just to be here, but yeah, really cool dude. But yeah, he asked me to help him with something. And then as I'm helping him measure one of the charging cables for one of the hybrid X5s, we we're just talking about electric cars and stuff. And he was like, wow, you know a lot. And I was like, yeah, I'm in sales. And he was like, oh, and then we just start talking. So nice dude. This I am here at Montano Acre. I'm actually about to do a walk around on an MDX. So make sure you check out my walk around channel for my new car walk arounds. I've been doing a lot of cars lately. That channel has actually been growing as well. So make sure you check it out. Just rode in this thing. This is the coolest thing I've been, probably driven in ever. I get it. I see why people like these buses. This thing is, can't explain, but. Oh, okay, I see, I see. This is, and this is 70s, right? 1970. 1970. So I learned that, look, look what the wheel is and look where you sit. This thing is pretty cool. That's the school bus steering wheel. Is it? You said the four speed? Yeah, four speed. High performance. High performance four speed. Horsepower. 86 horsepower. Imagine you're on a road trip while you're with you know, your friends and everyone is like packed up in here. Like, look at this, how much space you have, how much headroom you have. This is past daily. Close like a man. Yeah. Was it down or up? Down? Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, I don't want to hurt it. This thing is cool. What do you call these? Eyelids? Yeah. <laughs> this is fun to drive. Drove, drove around the block. It's not fast, but it's fun. Oh, man. This is a dream car right here. This thing looks all stock. Look at that stock wheels, stock arrow, stock everything. Look at this. This is nice. Doing YouTube videos? Yeah. Right on. <laughs> Look how clean this thing is. It's a manual or is it automatic? Oh, it's a man. And it's a manual. Wow. So this is definitely a dream car. One day. We're gonna, we're gonna own one of these, one day. I know the price of these things is going up like crazy, but we're, we're gonna have one. Like I know everybody wants Lamborghinis and Ferraris and McLarens. I want an NSX. Look how clean this thing is. Oh, I'm in love. And I love the pop-ups instead of the fixed. So I, don't, I know they refreshed it and added fixed uh, headlights on this thing, but I like the pop-ups. It's just such a timeless, beautiful car. Like, I can't even explain it. You can tell this thing is kept in the garage. That's crazy. Wow. We are back in the Casa. I should have recorded uh, us riding around in that little bus. That was just a cool vibe, like a cool experience. Um, the BMW dealership was act they had a lot of like they got a lot of heat on the showroom floor. Like you guys saw in the video, there was a there was a few cars I even showed. There was like a X five M that was already sold. They had a, the new two series in there. Um, they, had, they had a lot of options on there, which is pretty cool. But if I were to buy a car right now, I think I'm leaning toward the M40i. If I had $100,000, I would get the X4M. But um, I have no idea why I'm obsessed with these coupe SUV things. They're just pretty cool. Don't need a car right now though, so I'm not shopping or anything like that. But I did want to see one in person after we, we drove one, like I said, in, in New York. I just wanted to experience one in person. So I'm glad I went in person, saw one, checked it out, saw some other cars. Just a cool, good vibe. If I did get one though, I would lease it. I would not buy one. I would probably not buy a luxury car. I would always lease them because in my opinion, they're just, they're made for now. You know, they're not made to keep 10 years. I mean, you can do that, but that's usually for like a purist or someone that's, you know, 100% to that brand and they live by it, blah, blah, blah. I mean, um, besides the Porsche, I'll buy a Porsche. Other than that, Audi, you know, BMW, Mercedes, whatever. I'm just gonna lease it because don't want to deal with those headaches after you know a few years. I actually did have a BMW. It was a '98, I think, or the '97, either '97 or '98 528i, 
and it was a cool car. You know, had a lot of tech for for its year, but yeah, I think needed a lot of money here, there, everywhere. Eventually, though, I want to be able to do walk around on other brands, so that's why I am going to different dealerships and familiarizing myself with other cars. That way, I can do a walk around on them because I would love to do a walk around on BMWs, but I don't, I don't know much about them. So, you guys are gonna see in these vlogs. Sometimes I'm gonna stop by a, a dealership and look at different cars and kind of just feel them out because eventually, on my second channel, I want to branch off and do other brands. Right now, we're doing Hondas and Acuras. I put the link for my other channel there, so make sure you check it out. Subscribe. It's good information. You can learn a lot about new cars. Show your mom, your dad, everyone, your family. That's your Jelly and I are home. We're about to get some work done. This is, you know, our office. This is where we just get work done. So I'm going to go ahead and edit the video and do some emails and stuff like that too. So I appreciate you guys for watching. Thank you for actually staying this long in the video. If you made it this far, you are a real one. And oh man, helicopter flying over the house. Sheesh, shaking the whole house. Literally a tank just flew over my house. Like the whole house was like it. birds flying outside. It was, it was crazy. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. I'm going to catch you guys on the next vlog.